Well, good afternoon, everybody. Mike Hillhorst, Grow Team Advisor for North Central Alberta with you here today. And we're actually out in a field of Canadian Rockies hemp. Now, this is a fiber hemp crop that was, I believe, seeded in early June. And already, um, as you can kind of see, it's probably, you know, a good three feet tall already. Um, you know, interesting crop. It's probably going to be mature here for fiber harvest in in August so here again uh, as far as a option for for growers in, in north central Alberta you know it, it likes the uh, it likes the rain likes the moisture it's uh, very quick to mature and uh, you know we're really uh, keeping our eye on this uh, this crop to see what kind of uh, you know what kind of hay yields we're gonna get because basically what will happen is they'll come in here and this crop could very well be 10 to 12 feet high in August. And uh, what Canadian Rockies Hemp will do is they'll come in with a triple sickle mower. It's a custom mower that they built. And they'll knock this crop down, not in the swaths, but just down everywhere. And then what they do is, a few days later, they come in with a power rake and rake it into windrows. And then they'll custom bale it. The grower can choose to, uh, to bale it themselves and stack it. But um, Canadian Rocky Sample will also do that for you. And, um, you know, I, I looked at a contract myself before, uh, before seeding. I, I kind of chickened out, I guess, and, and decided to go to canola. Um, but, you know, this is certainly a crop that you can seed late. You can take off early and, and still put things in like, uh, you know, winter wheat or any kind of winter cereal. I think it's going to be a fantastic option. And basically, uh, once this is all bailed up, uh, it's, it's basically made into textiles, so shirts and blankets and pillowcases and all kinds of things. I mean, there's, uh, there's stuff called hempcrete as well, which is basically a concrete or a cinder block alternative. Uh, they make it into that as well. All kinds of uh, options, and I think agronomically it looks good. I mean, like I said, this crop hasn't been planted for... Uh, you know a little bit over a month and you can see how vigorous it is and once uh, you know the daylight hours are pretty long right now and man this stuff grows inches a day so it's pretty cool really looking forward to seeing how uh, how these guys make out and a few others around the Edmonton area uh, the Canadian Rockies um, plant their brand new brand new uh, manufacturing facility is in Bruderheim so northeast of Edmonton and uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing how, how they're going to make out. And uh, like I said, I've seen the contract, just about pulled the trigger and seeded some myself down in, uh, in our home area. And, and it's a very lucrative contract. It's a very fair contract. And I think that Canadian Rocky Hemp uh, is really willing to work with growers and learn a lot about this crop and, and uh, you know, help develop it into a, into a real viable options, uh, a real viable option for, for farmers in north central Alberta or, or really anywhere that we generally get a lot of rainfall. You know, we've got issues like cr club root and, and things like that that are really causing havoc on a lot of farms. So we need to find more crops. We need to find and we need to diversify that rotation. And this crop here could certainly be the... Uh, the next humdinger I think or I, I certainly hope so anyway just wanted to show you a bit about uh, this crop today I'm certainly not an expert yet but certainly plan on uh, plan on being and, and they have uh, you know in-house agronomists that are are very well well tuned in the in the crop and and how to grow it and uh, yeah just just really looking forward to it and it's kind of cool and uh, as you would imagine I mean this crop isn't even close to budge stage yet but when you get down here and you you take a sniff, it, it definitely smells like uh, what you think it would. So kind of like Cheech and Chong's basement. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, really looking forward to hybrid, fiber hemp and Canadian Rocky hemp and some of the other uh, companies that are contracting with Western Canadian growers. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, really looking forward to it. Bye everyone. Have a great day.